Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Christina, and I told you guys I was going to be probably recording Friday morning. We'll just have to tell you, it's Friday morning, and I'm, well, it's actually Friday afternoon, and I'm recording. So, clearly I was right on with that. Um, so today's video is going to be what's in my acting binder. This is the binder. Um, so... I will be showing you guys what I keep in my binder and maybe it'll help you guys in organizing your scripts and your call sheets and any acting stuff you download online and any monologues and voiceover scripts all that fun stuff to keep you organized so you can find the things you're looking for without having to dig through 600 pieces of paper all stacked up so I hope this helps let's get into the video so this is my acting binder. It is, I believe it's the three inch, um, it's the clear view one that I um, put a like piece of paper in, which I did, this one says acting on it. Um, it's white, so that way I didn't confuse it with my modeling binder, which you guys saw was pink. Didn't want to get them mixed up. Because um, if they're sitting on my shelf with just this side, I haven't put anything in here, and if they're both white, I'd have to pull out one to figure out what it is instead of just going, oh, the white one's acting. This is what I have in it. As you can tell, I do have quite a bit of stuff in here. So first, over in this corner, right, or this corner, this pocket, I have the Ultimate Edition Prep Checklist. I got it from amyjoeberman.com. Um, I took one of her webinars. Actually, I've taken several of her webinars. And it's just like different steps on how to get like it's different it's to prep you for auditions like what is your primary goal in the scene and like what is your button okay I have I have not read this all the way it's the complete the end of the scene basically like where are you you know how you want to prep for your audition so that's one thing that's in there um I have I volunteered at ICFF which is the International Christian Film Festival and this was our schedule of different what it was. Um, I volunteered with setup and registration each day. And then I have this, it's called, it's from the Learn From the Pros, Be a Pro, Acting Pros, it's the audition game. It's the pre-game prep and the, like, the game day. And then post-game score, like what you thought, how you did. Um, and then, like, turn, terms of, like, scene shift, line by line, status, personality types, like, controller, promoter, su supporter, analytical. And so I got this, um, from, I did the Think Bigger Summit last year, and so this was the, one of the things I got. And then I took a line learning intensive with the Fully Mara casting, and then this was our like, um, to help learn, um, like, basically different ways that we need to remember our lines, um, like, and then we had to memorize this and write it down without looking at it to see how much we could actually remember, um, yeah, and so it's just different instructions on how to like what you can do is um, you can run, memorize and I'll, I'll do a video on best way to do like cold read um, but like every um, like when it hits you comma forget about it period so you can put a comma and then remember the first line and then the next line and then the next line um, it might help you remember better but then like that was one of the monologues I did um, and so it's just different ways to teach we didn't get very far into it. In fact, we got to page 10. Um, because it was like, it was like a three hour sim, uh, webinar, so it was really good. But I did have a lot of fun, and I did learn how to, best way to memorize. And then, in here, I have my pencil case. Um, this one's pink, the other one was purple. Um, and then what I have in it is, I have, in acting, I really need more, more highlighters than the model book did. 
Um, but I have two pink, a yellow, a purple, and a blue. Um, so I have those in there. Then I have a purple pencil. It's a mechanical pencil. And then I have one thin tip Sharpie, a regular permanent marker, and two pens. Just because you never know if you're going to need that stuff. Um, and then I have instructions on cat's casting on how to do um, self-tapes in here. Um, and then like um, to edit how to use a certain editing tool in my movie maker. Then I have my monologues. So I have a Cinderella story, a look back in anger, which is from a play, and then the Princess Diaries. Um, this one is when Mia is announcing herself as, that she wants to be Princess Mia. So I have to, I'm working on, I know this one, I'm working on this one, and this one. So that one is good. And then at, I did another seminar. Um, this one was for a week. Um, it was a bunch of different seminars. And one of them was um, voiceover. And so different ways to, mem or different voiceover techniques, like here's a tongue twister, an Applebee's commercial, um, these are other things that I was told would be good to do for voiceover, is just like read, like, mount your horse, put on your 3D glasses, grab your six shooter, get ready for a wild ride. And so as long as they're not like copyrighted, which it'll say on the back, but as long as they're not copyrighted, I'll be able, I'd be able to use these for, um, just to build up a voiceover reel. And then I have like a breath exercise. You like, um, take a big breath and say this as fast as you can without taking another breath. And then like a disclaimer and a confusing sentence in the tax code. So that's in here. And then when I went through Shine, I had my cold read and my gold read for my other shine because I went to two different shines um then I have okay so we're gonna skip that because I don't want you to see my name and stuff or any of that okay so clearly that's my contract for my agent so this is another voiceover script this is um for kids and then this one's for adults um and it's different ones that would work for just doing a voiceover, they're not copyrighted. Like one is wondering where the lines are, that's the kids. And then Blue's Room, Little Blue Riding Hood, um, Air, and the Appalachia Children's Fund. And then the adult is Alzheimer's 2, California State Parks, and Hershey. So, yeah, so I'll be able to use these for my voiceover also. Then I have a divider here, it's for call sheets or next. Um, I have this in a very specific order, like all of that is stuff that I'm working on. And then I have call sheets. These are all my scripts that I had. So I have scripts for everything that I need to script for. So like this one is the High Rock. Or not High Rock. This is Make It Zero. Um, I did the voiceover for it. So I have that voiceover script. I have the deficits been, or High Rock Education. Okay, so this one was really cool. I think I still have it posted um, up on YouTube on my channel. It's, I did this submittable fails, submittables fail better contest. You tell them your worst, your fail, 
and like people you get chosen for this and then people vote for who's their who they like want to win and so that was that was kind of cool and then this is my monologue from AMTC and then I have acting info okay this is the one that's actually a little more interesting um I have skincare basics how to like how you can keep your skin like clean proper diet pressure and exercise relaxation and sleep water careful handling so don't like you know, rub your face a lot. Um, avoid expression lines. And then, like, avoid the sun. See a dermatologist if needed. Okay, and then I have understanding the industry. It's like the project, casting directors, agents. Okay, so, like, casting directors, what they do and do not do. Agents, what they do and do not do. And then, like, um, ad suggested Atlanta acting classes. Suggested casting websites. Um, and then newspapers in Tennessee near me. And then, like, I submitted to be a brand rep with AMTC, and so that's what this paper is. And then downloaded acting stuff. This was from a seminar I did. This one is how to do, um, like, cold reads really, really, really well. So, like, you want to be well heard, you want to be well lit, you want to shoot every scene individually so if you have four scenes that they all want in one video don't do one from the other because one to the next to the next to the next it's not a good idea you need the you need to like if you go from a happy scene to a sad scene or you go from like a you're just a huh whatever scene to a sad scene to a really happy scene it's going to be harder for you to go from just whatever to really sad to really happy especially from a sad to a happy um, and then you want to keep your script in your hands um, doesn't mean you have to like hold it you know up to where the audience can see it but you do want to hold it and so then it's like sit or stand so it doesn't matter um, and then but if you stand, you have more energy than if you sit. The check the slate instructions, go to good reader, find the quiet room, use a natural backdrop. Never look directly into the camera. And then do, do's and don'ts. Do treat it like you would. Don't use a webcam. Do use a backdrop. Don't rely on overhead lighting. Do you find a quality light reader? Don't, take, don't do more takes than casting is asking for. And then here's your thing. Find your readers. Backup readers. Camera, tripod, backdrop, lights, and sound. Edit. Add slate to the edit. Practice weekly. And delivery of self-tape. And then the last thing in that little thing was a submitting a casting video. Different ways on how to submit the casting video. And then... This one is from Aaron Marcus. It's uh, his website. He helps actors. Um, and so this is a thing. It's like secrets to getting an affecting webinar or resume, getting a survival job, standardized patient jobs, getting an agent, marketing yourself, voiceover webinar, helpful acting modeling webinars. So it does. It makes it like finding casting directors, finding photographers, finding advertising agencies. And so it's a really big list. What else is in here, though? See, this is what I get for sticking, like, everything in one little slide. Oh, okay, Christian Film Companies. I, like, wrote them all down. That's what's in there. So that's all in this one. And then also with the Think Bigger Summit that I did last year, I did a, or one of them was a PR person and so five questions to jump start your PR. Am I allowed to share this information? Is my story idea idea considered timely? So it's just different like that. And then I have the ultimate social media checklist for actors right here. And then a list or well how to use a list of casting directors. Um, Asia Knox audition with these five memorization tips. So memorize each section separately, write it down, don't memorize things when you're tired, work on it with a friend, if things aren't going well, don't get stressed. And then, okay, so this one's called the Audition Actors 
or the Actors Audition Advantage Cheat Sheet. And so what you'll do, it's like, if you audition for a film, you research all the style. If it's a television show, you become familiar with the show. A commercial, find out what the product is. Make sure you don't have any commercials out that could be considered a conflict. Um, like a competitor, like say you have a Pepsi commercial out and you, like two months ago you shot it and you're going to go, you want to go in for a Coca-Cola commercial. Clearly that's not going to work because Coca-Cola is the competitor of Pepsi. And then you like read through your script, break it down into primary element elements, assess the dynamics of the scene, things to look for in the sides, additional questions to ask, like, and then dive deep into character, and final tips for your biggest audition advantage, auditioning for a TV commercial. It's the actor's job to tell a story, not sell the product. And then, yeah. And then this one is tax info. Okay, this is a list that I got online from a, I think it's actors tax dot tax dot com or something like that. Um, I'll see if I can figure out what it is. Um, and what it is is a list of deductions that you cannot take and can take. So like there's mistake number five, bogus tax deductions. I keep a notebook that I keep my mileage for acting jobs and it's up on my bookshelf. But I keep it because I always want to remember how long, like, it's good to keep track of your miles, because then you'll always have how long it took you to get there. And so I have a little notebook, um, and it has how much I make each job. I keep it, I keep track of that. Um, and then different, like, this is how... This is what May looked like. Um, I have to get the miles. So let's pick something that I actually put the miles on. Here we go. Okay, January. Um, I drove to Murfreesboro for speed kills. So I have like home to Murfreesboro hotel, and then the amount of mileage and the date, and then hotel to set, and then set to hotel. Hotel to set, set to hotel. Um, I don't know why my mileage changed. Oh, because we went a little bit further. That's why. Um, and then, and then home hotel to home is the same amount as it was from home to hotel. So like, it was two hundred and four thirty-seven because it's three hundred eighty-two miles, and you divide it by how much. No, divide it. You t you multiply it by how much. Oh, it's fifty-three and a half cents um, this year for taxes for mileage. That's how much they pay you, and so I would get two hundred and four thirty-seven back from my mileage in January. So I always carry this with me. It has an anchor on the front. Um, I got it at Walmart for like, I think I paid like three bucks for it. But it actually works for me. And then what is the other side? Oh, that is just expenses last year. So that is all in this folder. And that's actually what's left in here. Um, this is what I bought from like Walmart and Amazon for jobs. Like my photography kit and my tripod. And then these are just all empty sleeves for other scripts or something like that. And then what I have is a, okay, so I did a webinar with Heidi Dean of Marketing for Actors. And so this was one of the things. It was a hashtag book dip posting checklist. It's 20 ideas from Audition to Throwback. So like how you t you do our audition, tweet a post, and then if you booked it, you book it. And then you announce it, and then like behind the scenes, you can do your favorite rehearsal tips, share posts about the project, um, transformation story, cast members, passion and products, inspiration that gets you through the week or day, opening night, ask and answer fan questions, acknowledge gifts from fans, stage star photos, live tweeting, cast parties, rap parties, Milestones, awards, and then Throwback Thursday. And then, like, you can sign up for that and get more ideas. And then also what's in the back here is the right 20 post ideas to
to use every time you booked it. The right way to promote your bookings on social media so it doesn't like sound like you're just bragging about yourself. And so, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then this is the one I did with Amy Jo Berman. It's the Social Discovery Me 20 Simple Social Media Tips for Savvy Actors. And then this also got from Heidi Dean. It is Twitter on like different things to like create your Twitter and like keep so that way you're actually using Twitter the right way. And Instagram. YouTube is in here someplace. YouTube. Snapchat. And Facebook for actors with a page. Like it's not for like actors that just have, that's for actors that have a fan page and not just, or a professional page and not just a account. So that is everything that I keep in my actors binder. So I hope this video helped you guys in staying organized with your acting stuff, um, especially the important papers like your scripts and your call sheets and obviously your monologues because those are really important to actors. Um, especially when you're going to an audition and you need a monologue. Oh, well, let me just pull one out of my stack of papers. It'll take you 12 hours to go through it instead of going in your binder and opening it or your file cabinet opening and going, okay, um, monologues. And then pulling that out and figuring out which monologue you want instead of shuffling through 100 papers that don't have anything to do with what you're looking for. So if you want to watch my modeling binder video... Um, I'll leave the description down below, so that way you guys can watch that if you'd like. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I'm actually running out of ideas, so guys, please comment down below what kind of videos you want me to see. That's what I'm hoping, is I can get some ideas of what kind of videos you guys want to see. Um, I'm trying to do, like, acting tips and modeling tips, but if you have other questions, go ahead and ask those too, and I'll answer them. Um, you can also leave questions on, you know, Twitter and Instagram. Um, I'll leave the Twitter and Instagram handles to my pages down in the description box. So that way if you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask them on there too. And I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. So I hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you next week. Bye.